the amount of people who work for Ramesh with them name call from tearing off back door and tear off front of back you are going to get brand as an alphabet man somewhere up the line somewhere it's just the truth so for me Valiant signing to Ramesh is not a bad thing but it is also a bad thing Bless up, bless up, bless up. Wag one over yes up on RM TV review. Hope everyone doing good as you're watching this right now. So people, we have coming up a video with Futa Hyper Expose Valiant link around Romish. It's like him just a put this out a one Valiant say if him plan for their own Romish because you know recently we see it out in the media that Romish is you know, Valiant official booking agency. Him not sign to Romish or anything like that. Him not officially sign. And I like I'm official label or anything like that. But Futa Hyper look into things and say Valiant around Romish. Who knows? Probably later on it happens. So Futa Hype just a put this out say being around Romish label, it come with both good and bad, you know, for your artist where want him street cred and them things there it not really benefit that much being around rummish but at the same time you make a lot of money so footer hype is like him i put this out so valiant can hear because him see valiant around rummish just the other day we see rummish you know him and valiant link up do a song together motorcade bad piece of song yeah, so Futa Hype basically I say Valiant around the place right now. It's like Futa Hype put this out. Him not bash Romish, him not bash Valiant or anything like that. Him just a share him view. You know, as we Futa Hype normally do right here. Him just a share certain stigma where it come with being around Romish. So people I want to tell me what to think about this Futa Hype putting out, you know, pertaining to Valiant career right about now. Yes, people, just the other day we see Valiant shell down Canada. I think him forgot to the UK next and the Futa Hyper anticipate Valiant in the US. So it's like Futa Hyper put this out. I want to answer this question right here. You think it would be wise for Valiant to sign to Romish Entertainment? Let me know. Watch this video with Futa Hyper say. When we say very smart, like when you forward with the dunce thing and them are beat you. And you're going to explain what you mean in our song about dunce. That was huge. That was a big move. Zin. Then you come to Bam and run the place. And you're going to make a stupid move. You go to Bam and put out this song on him. Ain't got no barbies. With one bagger. Nasty Nissan. Nissan. Oh, that and degrading should I never do that. You could have keep the chorus of the song, but them content and nothing in your song. Anyway, you go so bam again, and you make a next move, which me consider to be a right move and a wrong move depends on how you deal with it. See? Any artist. In a Jamaica, signing to Ramesh, thinking financial wise, is the greatest move you can make. May I repeat myself? See? May I repeat myself? Any artist thinking financially, see? Any artist thinking financially will it will be very good to sign to Ramesh because Ramesh have corporate Jamaica pan lock Ramesh is very connected in in um corporate Jamaica like any artist sign to Sharon Burke is a good move if you want international connect and linkage with international people. Sharon Burke are the boss with them. Zin? Ramesh Entertainment is 
a management company where can get you rich in a couple of days not even months nor years in a couple of days Ramesh can make you rich see remember that's why ding dang around this along remember ding dang I'm own entity ding dang can cut if you want but ding dang no said food I run around like wow see so Valiant signing to Ramesh Entertainment are one of the best thing he could have done for him career financially. Street cred rise, signing to Ramesh is the wrongest thing you can do. Credibility wise, signing to Ramesh Entertainment is one of the worst things you can do. Automatically, you're going to get labeled as a Bowers. Automatically, the business are going to call upon your name. Automatically, people are gonna say you're shaky. Zin? So, more you get with me, I say. More understand me, I say. Signing to Ramesh Entertainment have double standard to it. Money wise, getting sure, have carpet um, endorsements, all of them something. There. Nice, but Ramesh them not have no limit to who them work for. Them work for Batman, lesbian, drunkard, racist, anybody. If you have money, them work with you. No limit not there to feed them thing. So that will have an impact on you as an artist with your street cred. You understand me? I say, Ramesh them hire anybody. You are fish them hire you. You are lesbian, them was a higher you. Them, them believe in a shaky people and all kind of people. See? So, panda ende, you are going to have problem. I just, people, me I'm going to just start the truth in them. I want to listen, listen to me. You know? What me I say now, people just afraid for saying no. And I mean, I said this and I this me this Ramesh. And I this me this. Nobody was saying to Ramesh. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. Once you're signed to Ramesh, you'll be labeled as Bowers. Based on all them set the foundation of the company then. Zin? Ramesh Entertainment, probably the only company where I have so much bitch and that girl work for them and them something. So, all if them girl they straight and them just dress like that, it no matter. People like a brand new. Zin? Them talk openly, or them eat front and them do them something. Like you go around there as a gangster, and you roll another thing that you go get brand as a bowers too. Cause show me, show me a company and tell you who you are. Birds of a feather flock together. The amount of people who work for Ramesh, what them name call, from tearing off back door, and tear off front of back, you go get brand as an alphabet man somewhere up the line, somewhere. It's just the truth. So for me, Valiant signing to Ramesh is not a bad thing. But it is also a bad thing. So it depends on how him play him care them and how him operate while him run them. Cause TJ did run them and TJ a about careful till him can back no more. He might be throw in the bat and cut. You understand? Ding dang about careful and ding dang still get beaten. Ding dang still get beaten. Ding dang still have to live with that pressure around there of getting branded as a certain kind of man, even if you man a certain kind of man. De. So the company, they come with a stigma. De. Can't blame even if it's a booking deal, no matter what kind of deal him sign. It's him sign to Ramesh. And Ramesh angle in business, you know. And Ramesh come with a certain stigma. Alright, so the next thing we are talking about now, Beanie Man react to Spice and the Angel reunification. Yes, people, while Beanie Man was speaking on, on stage during the interview, we see where Beanie Man share some advice to, you know, the current crop of dancehall artists. And it's like he must say right now, the artists, them just need to unite, you know, jump on the same rhythm that is for the betterment of dancehall yes people so while i talk about that in general you know we see 
him tell the host on his program on a stage where he expressed his frustration with the disunity and infighting in dancehall music. Beanie Man pointed out the recent renewed friendship between Spice and the Angel as an excellent example of what needs to happen more in dancehall. Yes, people, you know Beanie Man. I'm always a support the female artists, you know, Spice, the Angel, all of them. So right here, him see what go on, you know, how Spice and the Angel reunite and thing after, you know, the ongoing beef over social media, you know, we see all of that. So Beanie Man just a embrace this moment so other artists can see the power, you know, way to do for dance all and them things that who knows, maybe them have a trap on the way once again. So big up the angel, big up spice. Right here, Beanie Man exact words during the interview saying, that is what supposed to happen in dancehall music at all times. Every artist supposed to be your friends because you cannot deal with social media and not socialize. You know, it no makes sense. So, it's like Beanie Man, you know, in a reaction right there towards Spice and the Angel. Yes, people, so that is a good look, you know. Sometimes, you know, artists, they might have them difference and thing, but more while, you can't take it too personal like how we see some artists do it over the years. 